Sometimes it's not possible to use a refractometer to measure your gemstones. If they're not highly polished, if you've got a rough piece of stone, then you can't get a refraction measure off the surface because it's just simply not going to refract the light enough. Also with highly refractive gemstones like diamonds and zircons, the refractometer simply won't cope. This is where your spectrometer comes into its own. Totally different device measuring the gemstone in a different way. What this measures is the absorption of light within a gemstone. As light enters your gemstone, certain rays, certain speeds of wavelengths will be absorbed within the gemstone and it's different from one gemstone to another. When you look down the end of your spectroscope, you'll see an array of colours, all the colours of the rainbow. Now, when we shine our bright light, and you need the brightest light you can find, onto your gemstone, you then look down your eyepiece, and what you're going to see is a black line or a fuzzy black line representing where the gem has absorbed the colours. So, for example, with tanzanite and with sapphire, it's very, very different. With your sapphire, you get a bold black line around the blue to indigo part of the spectrum. If you get that, you know you've got a genuine sapphire. If you've got something that looks like a sapphire and you have no absor absorption lines, it's probably a synthetic. This is great at identifying irradiated uh, diamonds from natural coloured diamonds, from your jadeite, from dijadeite, your alexandrite from synthetics. It's got a dozen or so useful uh, uses uh, and it's great fun. You look into the end of it, you see all the colours of the rainbow and you have a lot of fun studying your gemstones.